Hi, this is Bethany Gagne, the originator of the Albany Peace Project. And today we're filming from this beautiful location at the Unitary Universal Society of Albany. And we're here with Reverend Sam Tremblor, um, which I've been really looking forward to the interview. Because I understand, Sam, that you have been meditating for 30 years, is that right? Yes, I started back in the, in the 80s. And uh, it was a long process of exploration, but uh, I remember going to my first uh, meditation class, and I had the wrong date. <laughs> but I sat in the space, and I could feel like this is the place that I wanted to be. And then in the first class, uh, I was just totally sold immediately that uh, this particular form of meditation was just what I was looking for. Wow, how did you... What were you feeling inside of you that felt like you wanted to explore meditation? Well, I uh, had an experience uh, at the beginning of the 1980s of uh, an opening, a very spiritual opening, uh, that uh, I didn't understand. And so I was going out and exploring. I studied different sorts of things, went to hang out with different kinds of groups, I was with the Sufis, uh, uh, tried uh, meditating with some Hindu saints and just doing this exploration of trying to find a connection between this inner exploration that was happening, this inner uh, light in mm -hmm. word language that was uh, growing in me. And when I uh, started doing this particular kind of meditation, that there was just a, a synergy of things connecting for me that was very important. So, you, so are you still doing the same meditation that you started 30 years ago? Yes. It's, uh, Buddhist mindfulness meditation. It comes out of the Theravada Buddhist tradition. In the United States, the people that I learned it from are the Insight Meditation Society people. Uh, people like uh, Jack Kornfield, Joseph Goldstein, Sharon Salzberg. Uh, they're the ones who brought it to the West and have done, a, I think, a very good integration of uh, the methods of the meditation practice. So that's kind of like what, what you're doing, trying to find what is the, the method and the technique and, and divorcing it from, or not divorcing it, but from separating it from the parts that are more uh, religious and traditional so that you get at the functional pieces. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really liked about this particular meditation technique because it was uh, really focusing on uh, the psychological dimensions. So that for me, growing up um, a scientific humanist, I could really uh, connect with this very easily. Wow, wow. So today you're going to be leading us in um, a similar meditation, and certainly I've, I've, I've played some of those meditations from those people that you spoke about, and they are especially powerful. I, I, they're some of my favorites. This is basically a mindfulness meditation that uh, is called in this tradition meta meditation. So it's uh, cultivating the sense of loving kindness, but it's doing it um, in a way uh, that is very bodily centered, very experiential, which again connects, I think, strongly with what you're trying to do. Absolutely. When we when people try to meditate uh, kind of without the body so much, that's very often that we can feel agitated. You know, that's why if you ever try to meditate, people say, oh, I feel more agitated afterwards. It's because they're not bodily focused. So that's. Wow, so this is wonderful. I'm looking forward to your meditation today and how it's going to really anchor us, our yeah. mind and the body. Well, often in meditation, we're talking about being in the present moment. And the best way to be in the present moment is to be aware of body sensations. And so the, the body sensations are like a, a, clue, a clue for us. If you're not feeling your body, then there's a chance to say, oh, I'm lost in thought or I'm in my head, something like that, uh, or I'm, I'm in fantasy. And, the, and so you can use that sense of, can I feel a sensation in my body uh, as that touch them? Mm -hmm. Then they use that as a way to connect back. If I'm not feeling a body sensation, uh, let me connect with the breath. Let me connect with the sense of, of feeling loving kindness as a physical sensation rather than as an idea. Right. Wow, you did that so well. And I am um, thank you very much. And, and you really brought up some important points. So I'm looking forward to your meditation. Thank right. you so much. Thank you very much. Bye.